In this tutorial, we're going to review how to create a new opportunity in Salesforce on an existing account. So once you've logged into Salesforce, make sure you're on the sales page here. If your Salesforce didn't automatically open to this page, you can go here, type in sales, and select it here. So now that we're here, we'll navigate to the accounts tab where you'll see a list of all recently viewed accounts. For this example, we're going to be using Disneyland. So here, I'll type in Disneyland and go to the account page here. On this account page, you can see all the information we have related to this account, any contacts, opportunities, tasks, and notes or attachments if there were any. So in order to create a new opportunity, we'll go to this section and select new. Once you're here, fill out the opportunity name. So yeah, example opportunity. Opportunity location should be the most accurate city or county of the opportunity. So here we'll say Anaheim. The account that it's associated with is already uploaded. We'll type in the territory. For this, we'll say Pleasanton. And newer existing business, we'll say existing business. So here it asks for additional information where you're required to input the lead source. So input any of these lead sources that are the most accurate. If for whatever reason you choose other, be sure to put in their information here. In this section and description information, we want to have as much information about the project as possible. So put in things like square footage, levels, building type, et cetera. Okay, now that we've filled that out, we'll navigate back to the top. And for this example, I don't have a specific close date. So we'll just say about eight weeks out from today. And for the sake of this example, let's say this is in the proposal estimate stage. And this probability 30% will automatically populate with the stage you select. So because this is in the proposal estimate stage, let's assume it does have a P number assigned to it. In that case, we would go back to the title and input the P number before the opportunity name. And lastly, for the account, if you know the amount, go ahead and enter it. But if you know the construction value, you can enter 0.5% of the construction value so we can track what is in your pipeline with the projected amount until we bid it. So for this example, I'm just going to put in a random figure there. So we'll click save and a new opportunity has been created. We can look in the opportunities page here, click on the, it individually, and you can see it comes up with an entire page, all details related to this specific opportunity.